So today's top tips are around terminology in patellofemoral pain. So this might seem a bit of a funny topic, but actually I think it's quite important to get the terminology right. And I want to just also clear up a few uh, issues that can be confusing for patients. So first of all, patellofemoral pain itself is quite a vague and fluffy term, but even worse is anterior knee pain. I mean, it simply means pain at the front of the knee. So that can encompass patella from more pain, but it could also encompass a stress fracture, it could encompass fat pad problems, tendinopathy, ostrich flatters. So uh, actually, let's not use the term anterior knee pain when we're talking about patella from more pain. I also have another problem with uh, the phraseology anterior knee pain for patella from more pain, and that is that very often the patients with patella from more pain actually have their pain medially or laterally, or even, particularly I think when they have associated bone edema in the patellofemoral joint, they may have pain in the popliteal fossa. So thinking as, about it as anterior knee pain actually is misleading. I think you'll also find that it's not a term that's used very much in the uh, literature anymore. So I think let's try and move away from that vague, unhelpful term. So the correct... Uh, term, if you like, is patellofemoral pain. It was patellofemoral pain syndrome, but two years ago at the patellofemoral research retreat this was uh, dropped, so it's just patellofemoral pain. Now, people also talk about chondromalacia patellae, and I want to just clear up some issues around that. So, strictly speaking, that is a descriptive term that describes the state of the retropatellar cartilage. And it can be graded from one to four, depending on the severity of fibrillation, fissuring, etc. Because it's a descriptive term, it can therefore only be accurately used following an MRI or an arthroscopy. Now, we do need to be careful about this term because we need to remember that cartilage is a neural. So here's an arthroscopy portal showing some chondromalacia patellae. But that cartilage you can see there has no nerve endings. That cartilage you can see there is not responsible for the pain. There may be a stress response in the subchondral bone that can correspond with the pain, but this fluffed up cartilage you can see here is not the source of the pain as it's aneural. And I think we therefore need to be very careful about using this term. Patients, obviously, uh, as always, will uh, look and Google and will often associate this with wear and tear, long-term damage, osteoarthritis, and formulate quite a catastrophic mindset, which in itself is unhelpful. So I would never give out that term, but often end up talking about it because patients come in with this diagnostic term with a lot of anxiety associated with it. So be cautious. So I hope that's cleared up a few uh, bits and bobs around the terminology in patellofemoral pain. If you're particularly interested in this area, I um, do my pick of the bunch, which is my top three references from the last three months for free uh, that you can receive every quarter. And that you can sign up for at clairdepatella.com. And if you want a bit more information, then I do an associated clinical commentary where you can get also the lowdown on how to disseminate it right into your practice. There are also some masterclasses on my website that may be of interest to you. Thanks for listening and I'll be back soon with another three minute top tip.